is newer really better? From refrigerators to washer machines, our appliances can do more than ever these days. But there is a downside to these snazzy features. They become outdated faster and they're more prone to breaking. In this special report, we're digging into why their lifespan seems to be shrinking. In her lifetime, Lonnie Tupa has done a lot of laundry, and we mean a lot. I had five children, and um, so we were, it was going constantly for years and years and years, really and truly, morning, noon, and night. She recently had to replace her washer and dryer of 37 years. Yep, 37. I had probably could have eked out even longer. Was it hard to let them go? 37 uh, years is a long time. A little bit, and I kept them in good condition. It was okay. It was okay. I'm ready for something new. But shopping for an appliance these days has become somewhat complicated. Some say manufacturers have really shut the door on quality. Good morning, Dolesbury Appliance. Welcome to Dolesbury Appliance of Leavenworth. I have been directly in the appliance business for right at 50 years. Ferg Massing is the owner, and in more recent times, he's noticed a change. Appliances were not failing at this very rapid rate, and it happened very quickly. What do you call this area of the store here? This is, uh, I refer to this as my appliance graveyard museum. To sum it up, they just don't make them like they used to. Uh, these are uh, washers that have all been thrown away in less than three and a half years. Wow. And uh, we have uh, one model that literally was only a year and a half old. It's a problem Ferg calls planned obsolescence, the business practice of designing products to break quickly or become obsolete in a short time. In fact, take a look at this study from Pulse Technologies. The appliance repair company surveyed 80 technicians and found 70% of repairs were on appliances five years or younger. The study also found washers broke down the most often, followed by dryers. Refrigerators were the most difficult to fix, and all of the above, Ferg says, simply too expensive. Service call fees have gone up, parts have gone up. This is an urgent need. Sometimes the servicers are not available for a week or two. And technology is also playing a role in watering down that quality. The electronics that are put into the machines uh, appear to be just simply a lower level of quality. It's almost like they all got together and said, well, what the heck, you know, and then just started making a lower quality appliance. Ferg has even tried to send the message himself. I have tried to preach to these manufacturers that the quality of their product is not up to expectations. They don't want to accept that. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to listen to you. They don't want to listen. I think we have to accept what we've got. But um, I would love to tell a different story when my customers come into the store. But it's a story he doesn't see improving anytime soon. I do not see that as a desire from the manufacturer side to have an incentive to do that. As for Lonnie, she did her homework and she chose this set of Speed Queens. I've already washed four loads and they're working great. Banking on the motto, built better to last longer. Ready for another 37 years. That's right. Or I'll more. be 110 when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get around this issue? Ferg advises, of course, to do your homework. Simpler is better and to buy American because he says you'll have more resources for everything from repair workers to availability of parts. Sharon Chen, KCTV 5 News.